One of the eighth on the program. We're back on the turf for the final three races. This is a class three. We're back down the straight again here as well with a couple of horses making their Hong Kong debuts. Three in actual fact. Valiant Dream, isn't he? He's a two time winner down the straight and good run behind Ping Hai Bravo. Last him out. Northern Dragon does make his Hong Kong debut, as does Trillion Win and Loyal Baby. They all bring winning form from New Zealand and Ireland, as it turns out. Joyful Fortune with a stable change. Now with Tony Cruz, Joe Moreira ride him. Beaten favourite, odds on as well on his last two starts. Blotting paper off the all-weather for Victor Wong from Barrier 2 and Seven Heavens. So with a tongue tie going back on, he'll jump from Barrier 4. His win has been on the all-weather over the 1,200 metres. Now Northern Dragon, who raced as Jaeger bombed for Tony Pike in New Zealand. The only one of these, uh, Tom, has been up at Chung in the last month. Yeah, and uh, he's uh, probably likely to be up on the pace. He was uh, on a bond pace runner in New Zealand before arriving. Uh, Valiant uh, Dream can be uh, somewhere there as uh, uh, well. Uh, and then you've got uh, Joyful Fortune. So they'll be the, the top three, Northern uh, Dragon, Valiant Dream, Joyful Fortune. Trillion win another newcomer, probably settled just behind the speed with Prince of Gems and War of Courage. And the other newcomer, uh, Loyal Baby, probably back in the, the rear half. Mr Lumiere will be back, but uh, he ran on quite well last time out over 1,200 metres at uh, Happy Valley. But three up front, Northern Dragon, Valiant Dream, Joyful Fortune. Here is Valiant Dream as well. And look, he's just been pipped his last couple of starts. He's a consistent horse, has to carry the weight. But uh, look, his work's been good. He, he's going nicely. He's a fit horse. So uh, plenty of positives around Valiant Dream. A trillion win now. He's uh, first starter here in Hong Kong. He's had a couple of trials to get him ready. Nice big strong horse, 12, 27 pounds. Uh, Joe Murray has ridden him in a few of his trials, but uh, Matthew Chadwick will ride him on race day, and he has won a trial here before. I think he's going quite well, as is this horse, Prince of Gems, uh, Antoine Hamlin's uh, mount, another one who's been quite consistent, uh, especially down the straight 1,000. And you can see he's quite keen in his work there. He does want to go a little bit faster. All right, well, we'll come back to uh, our current favourite in Joyful Fortune in a moment. We'll start off with um, Valiant Dream, Tom. And um, you pretty much know what you're going to get, and that's a solid run each and every time he steps out. War of Courage engaged in this as well, but uh, good runs behind Ping Hai Bravo and Wellington, and this was Ping Hai Bravo. It's just a bit too good for him last time. Yeah, what you see on the side of the tin with this guy is what you get mm. uh, consistent, and uh, he was up on the pace last time. But as a consequence of being quite consistent, Paul, he sort of has crept up in the, the ratings a little bit, but uh, in the end just knocked off by an informed horse. Yeah, that horse that's winning this that race has been winning them in a row, hasn't he? So it was a nice run. It's a good form race, but I hear what you're saying about the 133. Okay, what about Northern Dragon then, uh, Paul? Just the one trial for him up at Chung Fan. Yeah, look, he's been here for a while, but he's only had the one trial, and that, that just concerns me a bit. I like to see a horses have more than a trial uh, when they're here. He's a thousand ninety-five pounds with the tongue tie on. So, look, I'm just going to take a watch on him. Yeah, I wonder if. You've, if had any issues with him because he's been unraced for 12 months. Nothing in the, the vet report. He comes out of the uh, the time-honoured rider in Castletown Stakes, but one trial just coming into this a little bit concerned for me. Mm. I'm not as concerned as you guys. I thought he looked quite good there, but we keep moving. A trillion win then, uh, Tom. His name was Destination. Um, also coming out of New Zealand for Peter and Dawn Williams. Yeah, nothing wrong with uh, his trials coming into this. Joe Maria has been on board in both of those recent trials. I think he's a horse that's got some gate speed. He led in this uh, recent barrier trial. He went to the line quite nicely. He did Probably a fair bit of his racing at uh, uh, Ellerslie, the, the premier track, and uh, was a last start winner as well, Paul. Yeah, I quite like him. This, I think he's quite forward for a, for a strong showing. I think we'll get a bit of a price now because obviously Joe will be committed to the favourite. So, uh, yeah, I don't mind him at a price. OK. The other debutant is Loyal Baby, um, who we'll see in a moment because he trialled behind George for Fortune, who's now with Tony Cruz and will now be ridden by Joe Marrera. Joe Joyful Fortune, he looked impressive at the end of last season, the way that he won. He's having his first start on Saturday for a new trainer in Tony Cruz. You rode him in his recent trial. What sort of feel did he give you? Oh, he gave me a great feel. Uh, unfortunately, at the start, uh, for not knowing him that well, for not knowing him at all, to be honest, uh, I had him a little bit too tight, so he jumped and put his head up on the air. Um, but once he hit the ground and got, got going, he shows that he's got a lot of strength and power in himself. And... He crossed the line full on with plenty left in the hand. So, yeah, based on that, I, I, I got to go to the race with plenty of confidence. You've had a bit to do with Furore this year, of course, another high-profile stable transfer that went over to Tony Cruz's stable. With these new horses that Tony inherits, what does he do to get the best out of them? And do you think he can get the best out of Joyful Fortune? I believe so. He has proven that to be in the past. You just mentioned one example as, uh, as Furo has come from another stable and, and at his hand has performed in, in the high grade, you know. Um, you know, this horse, he, he is a potential kind of a horse. I think that there's plenty of more races in him. 
and I honestly don't think this is going to be the biggest testing for Tony because the horse himself seems to have plenty left in himself. Um, it's definitely up to the class. I know he hasn't won in the class three yet, but I think there was some there was reasons behind which I, I can't say. I, I, I just don't know, but there should be. Um, and I really think that uh, this race is, is a suitable race for the horse. He might go home with a, with a win in his bag. And congratulations. It's already been a, a good start of the week. Well done on your fourth time on Wednesday night, Joe. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, it's all about the support we've been, we've been getting, you know. Uh, I, I've said before, jockeys and trainers, we've, we are nobody without support of others. And i got to express my appreciation for all the opportunities that I've been giving. And I know I still got to do a job, but uh, without those supports, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be standing where I am. Yeah, and a win for Casper fans, a win for John Size on Wednesday night as well. Kept uh, them ticking over and their rivalry very much uh, intact. Uh, what are your thoughts, though, Paul? Joyful fortune. Um, it's so disappointing last time. He was, wasn't he? I mean, look, he looked a world beater when he first came out and, and won that debut run. Uh, he's changed stables. You saw him knuckle down there at the start. He's going to come up really short, but um, look, if he reproduces that first run here, he's, you know, he should win this. He's at 2.2 in the market at the moment, his uh, joyful fortune. Bombed out in both of those runs uh, this campaign, but I uh, thought he looked uh, really good in that recent trial. So uh, I'd certainly be keeping him safe, and I think 2.2. Anything probably over 2 in the market, you're probably shopping pretty well. All right, so does he go on top for you then, Paul? No, I'm going to go with a horse at 25 to 1 here, one of those first starters. It's called Destination New Zealand, trillion win by Prosser. That, that's um, Stallion's a new Stallion, but he's already had lucky fun in Tempest Express win up here in Hong Kong, so the, the breed seems to have settled in all right. We'll take a chance with him. He's looked good. I've liked his trials, and I think we'll get a price with Joe not on him. So he's on top. Joyful Fortune, obviously, the one to beat, and if he does reproduce that, he'll go close. Our Valiant Dreams consistent as his Prince of Gems. Four, seven, one, and six. Joyful Fortune and a Valiant Dream by your cube in this uh, race down the straight. Uh, Joyful Fortune looking to uh, bounce back and get his uh, uh, career back on uh, the uh, tram lines. Uh, he gets uh, his opportunity here again. Valiant Dream number one. It just has to carry the big weight, but he's been consistent. Like the way Prince of Gems going at the moment, he's another one that's been consistent and trillion win. Like the trials coming into this, he's in the market at a, a bigger price here, over 25 to 1. So 7, 1, 6 and 4. Yeah, I'll go against the favourite at this stage. I'll go 1-7, but uh, I think the 1-7 and or the 1-6 and 7 probably pick themselves and then find a fourth number outside of them. All right, that was eight races uh, down with uh, up next for us race number nine. Really interesting class three over the 1,200 metres.